Facebook, and I'm back with another review. Oh man. And here I have the Flip and Change Lockdown. Yeah, and you might notice by looking in the box. Yeah, I done opened it because I filmed this once. And uh, it didn't work out, but I already opened it by then. So I just kind of threw them back in there and said, we'll do it again. So, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, I have Lockdown. And, man, when I saw them, I was kind of like, you know what? I kind of need more Decepticons because all I got is Galvatron. And, uh, yeah. So I decide, why not? I will give this flip and change a chance. So, uh, yeah, but the box is real plain. I mean, it just says down there, locked down. And Hannah Hans, can you turn that, please? And on the side, we got a little picture of this ugly face of um, lockdown, which is scary looking. I like that masky one. I don't really like that Scarface version, because I don't understand how a Transformer could have a scar. Because they could just, like, scan a car and become that car, so why wouldn't you just scan a new face? Yeah, it don't make no sense to me. Anyway, and I do notice there's Autobot symbols all over the box. Yeah. Except where it says Lockdown, and it says Decepticoni. Alright, and the back. And in the back we have it. Oh, wait, there's no story in the back. So it just has a Decepticon symbol and it says Lockdown. Yeah, and then it just shows how to transform it. So you just pull the arms out, flip them around, and you're done. Yeah, real simple and easy. I guess this is in response to all the toys from the previous uh, movie lines that were really too hard. And, and I do know that that is true because I have a friend, and she's got a kid, and he's, I think, five? And he got a bumblebee, you know, like a year ago, he got a bumblebee, so he's probably six now. But he had a bumblebee, and uh, he cannot transform that bumblebee. It's like the Human Alliance bumblebee, and he cannot transform it. And so she always brings it over and says, Hey, can you do this for me? And I'm like, sure, no problem. Yeah. So I, I helps people to transform their transformers. True story. Anyway, so this is perfect for that kind of kid. So um, right there, just simple transformation, simple box. I'm disappointed in that. No tech specs and not even a story. Oh, man. I miss story time and tech specs. <sighs> anyway, let's get to the front. Side. Front. So, uh, yeah, there he is. So, we'll get him out of the box again. And uh, let's do the review. All right. Let's go. Woohoo! You know, I did that completely wrong. Usually I just say, all right, let's go, and then fade to black. I'm so confused lately. Okay, now fade to black. Bye. All right, and here we have um, Lockdown in his vehicular mode. And I gotta say, it is pretty nice. You know, it's... Kind of what I expect, being like a ba more basic figure. So, yeah, you got the things on the doors. And you just got painted windows. And, man, I'm a little disappointed the hubcaps weren't painted. But you do have nice metallic paint for the back. This blue right here. And the windshield on all the sides. They didn't skimp there. And they have this really nice Decepticon symbol right there. But all around, it's... It's a pretty nice car mode. There's nothing really bad about it. And yes, it does roll nice. I just put it on top of here so I don't have to readjust my camera. Because I won't get this done in like one take. So, uh, yeah. But uh, transformation's up next. And of course, this is a very easy... You know, this is the whole gimmick of the toy. So let's just move this out of the way. And uh, transformation, you go to the back and you just open up this back part. Those are the hands. And you pull out. And then you're going to... Which way are we going to go? Man, it's real hard to flip it in front of the camera. One more. Alright. Flip it around. Okay, and once you flip it, the shoulders have little locks. You're going to push them in. Lock it in there and there. And then the arms move down. 
And then there you have Lockdown and his robot mode. It's a real simple transformation, but it works. And this is actually, I, mean, I really got to say, get in there. But look at the details on this. And I really do like this green dot face more than I like the, uh, I don't know, scar face that they got for him. And I do like the way this looks. It looks like something different. And he's not all silver. Like in the movie, it seems like he's all silver. And I don't know what his, uh, his uh, deluxe version is going to be like. But I do like this face. <coughs> and the molding really impressed me on this. I mean, because I kind of need more than just, you know, Galvatron to go up against the uh, Autobots. But this is a really nice size. You know, it's a little bit bigger than the leader class. And yeah, he does have a backpack, but <coughs> this is a... Age of Extinction and backpacks are a prerequisite. Now for articulation, you know, but pretty much, well, if you just look at that, all the way down, I mean, he is very detailed. <coughs> and even his legs do look really good. If you put it to the side, then you see that he's got, you know, just these, let me move his hands up. But you can see it's just like straight, there's no articulation in the legs. They don't move forward, they don't move back, they're just there. We turn around, there's the backpack. And go back to the front. And we got him in the front. And he does have articulation with the arms. I mean, you, if you disengage, you can roll, of course you can roll the arms forward. But just generally, what he has for articulation is... Right here, he's got his shoulders, his shoulder moves out, rotates 360, he's got a nice little elbow here with a little bit of a ratchet, 90 degree elbow, and his hand, because of transformation, does sway a little bit, and he, I do like the way they work that hand, it does look pretty good, I mean, even though it's the door, just from this angle, it does look good, it looks like he got big beefy arms. And I thought this was just going to be a kind of throwaway review. But actually, just standing there, I mean, he looks great. And just to show you, whoa, what happened there? Him next to my leader class Optimus. This is the japanese one. But, you know, when you see him next to each other, I mean, he doesn't even look that bad next to Prime. I mean, he looks big, beefy, and I know him and Prime... Or fighting in the move, new movie, so uh, he actually looks a little beefier than Prime here. So I might need to bring out the uh, first edition because he's a little larger. So uh, yeah, but it's it's nice. I like it. He, he's gonna be on my shelf. I thought I was gonna give him away or something, but actually I really do like the way this looks. And uh, yeah, well, I'm surprised. So. Uh, Let's get to the summation. All right, let's go. All right, time for the summation. And I have to say, this was a surprise. I mean, I went in thinking, okay, this is just going to be stupid little thing. I'm going to just give it to some, you know, friend of mine's kid or something. But no, I actually really like it. And as you can see with him standing right next to the first edition Optimus, I mean... It don't look bad at all. So standing on a shelf, yeah, it's pretty nice. Plus, you know, I think Lockdown's going to be pretty cool in the movies. Because he got that big gun that comes out of his face. Oh, man, I wish I had a gun face. That would be awesome. So anyway, yeah, I really ended up enjoying it. And I'm really thinking I, I might pick up the flip and change uh, Grimlock because of it. Because, man... I do enjoy it. I don't think it's for everybody. And if you're really turned off by these figures, well, then you're not going to like it. If you're like, oh, man, but he's got no leg articulation. Oh, man, but look, the arms are, the hands are just doors. Oh, man, it's got a backpack. Yeah, you can do all those things. Or you could just go and, and enjoy what you got. Now, when I, when I bought it, I did see Drift, but Drift doesn't interest me. And neither does the Smash and Change Optimus. 
Although I probably will get the Japanese one. Because that does look pretty nice to me. And I get the trailer and everything. So, uh, yeah. So, is he nice? Yeah, I think he's real nice. And I love that face. I love the details they put on it. Much more details and paint apps. Which shows they cared. So, nice? Yep. Shiny? Yeah, he's got a nice shiny blue paint on his back and on the front here. So, uh, he's pretty shiny. And is he good? Yeah, he's good. I mean, I have a lot of fun with it. And it is kind of fun just to go flip him around and, hey, look at this. Oh, man. Now everybody's going to hate me. Because I think this is fun. But, like I said, ain't for any everybody. But if you look at them and you like them, and you need more Decepticons, because, yeah, all I got is Galvatron and him, and I got all the Autobots except for Bumblebee. I'm kind of Bumblebeed out. And, uh, yeah, Bumblebee and... I got all the Dinobots, I just ain't reviewed them yet. So, uh, yeah, nice, yep, shiny, yep, good, yep. Well, that only means one thing. I guess it's just out of time. <laughs> Mm. Oh man, it gets stuck in your teeth. Oh man, that flipping change, it just gets stuck in your teeth. But a uh, good toy. Good toy. Uh, bye!